5 reasons why you don't need to roll for Luocha. Silver Wolf Banner The other character that will come out in version 1.1 alongside Luocha is Silver Wolf. Good support with a unique ability to add new elemental weaknesses to enemies. Compared to Luocha, who is a healer, Silver Wolf is much more interesting mechanically. And then, when comparing both banners, I'll say Silver Wolf Banner tops Luocha Banner. Because Yukong, even though she's a new character, she's confirmed to be free in version 1.2. And we just had Pella Raid up in Sealy Banner. A lot of people pulled there, so I guess the majority of us already have some copies of Pella. As for Ching Chui, you get her for free in-game, and if you have Sealy, you don't need Ching Chui. On the other hand, in Silver Wolf Banner, we have good characters that didn't get raided up before. Dan Hang is strong single-target wind DPS. Serval with Eidolons is getting even better as AoE Lightning DPS. E4 Asta is an amazing support that can loop her ultimate forever, apparently. So getting more copies of these characters have more value than what it originally looked. The Memory of Chaos Almost all the reasons given in the previous video were related to Memory of Chaos because the reality is, that's the only content where you need to bring a second team. If you don't have a healer for your other team such as myself, at the very least you can reach floor 5. That's half of the total floor, and therefore you get half the rewards aka 600 jades per month. You may reach higher floors and get more jades depending on what characters you have, but 600 should be your minimum jades income from Memory of Chaos. You need to ask yourself whether you're okay with missing some jades, because in the neighboring game, Many players are so sensitive when confronted with the idea that missing some Prima Gems from Spiral Abyss is not a big deal. I don't know what this game's community thinks about it, but this is the counter-argument to finishing MOC as fast as possible so you won't miss any Jades. The Shielders There are two ways to survive on the higher floors of MOC, using a healer or using a shielder. It's been proven by people who have reached MOC 10 right now that either Gepard or Bailu can be used to protect the second team. So if you don't have Bailu but you have Gepard, that's sufficient, I think. A mysterious four-star healer is coming. There is a certain rumor saying that a four-star healer will come in a certain patch. I mean, this is inevitable, actually. There is no way Natasha will be the only four-star healer we have in this game. If you want to wait for this four-star healer, you might not need Luocha. I'm gonna stop talking about this character before Hoyoverse cancels me, but remember, this is 4-star. The 5-star character on that banner might or might not be someone you like. Kafka Before the version 1.1 special program went live, Hoyoverse teased three characters that will come in version 1.2. There is Kafka, Blade, and Luca. I should have mentioned Blade as one of the reasons why you need to pull Luocha because assuming Blade's kit doesn't change from the beta, they will have great synergy. But if you don't want Blade and you want Kafka instead, it negates the need to must pull him. So these are five reasons why you don't need to roll for Luocha. The reason why I make these videos are to give you the perspective from both sides. You will see people who still want to roll Luocha for whatever reason despite watching this video and that's completely fine. You don't need to come at them forcing your own opinion. Let's respect each other, no need to call anybody idiot. It's just a video game. Bye bye.